Well, a pretty quiet night out there tonight. Just a few scattered showers. And of course, we talked about the high tide at the top of the show. Got another one coming up tomorrow morning. But through the night tonight, generally cloudy skies. It's going to be mild and muggy. We're in the upper 80s today. We'll be in the mid 80s by lunchtime. And as the day goes on, a little bit better chance of getting rain. One more time, got to reiterate what's going to happen. We've already had that high tide, 953. We're going to have another high tide at 1016 tomorrow morning, probably roughly around eight feet. So we will get some of that shallow coastal flooding. A coastal flood watch is in effect, so that's a step above that coastal flood advisory. Sandy Bostic with our weather photo of the day earlier today. The beautiful clouds in the background along the Ravenel Bridge. Sandy says a great uh, morning to walk along the bridge, as a lot of folks always do. Here's Storm Team 2 radar, and again, just a few widely scattered showers, but really nothing significant in terms of rainfall. Coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, the upper level flow is still contributing to more tropical moisture that will be moving in, and that's why. Chance of rain relatively high in the next couple of days. We also have a cold front that will be our next weather maker. That one's going to move on through. It's going to do a couple of things, squeeze out the moisture, give us a better chance of rain. And then on the other side, guess what? It's going to be cooler for the second half of the week back into the 70s. Here's our future radar showing any rain continuing to lift from the southwest to the northeast tomorrow morning. I think we'll start out dry, but we could see some patchy fog, so uh, be wary of that. Allow some extra driving time to work in school. Then by the afternoon, a pop up shower thunderstorm not out of the question. So we'll break it down with the weather headlines. Moderate coastal flooding, maybe even more severe by tomorrow morning. Umbrellas still at the ready. Cooler days, though. Are coming on in. Temperatures in the 70s, upper 70s, Somerville to North Charleston to Walterboro, 77 in Sullivan's Island. A lot of lucky sevens on the map tonight. As we look at uh, Tropical Storm Joaquin east of the Bahamas, it has gotten a little bit stronger. The winds are now 70 miles an hour. I'll tell you what, low confidence forecast because it is meandering right now. It's drifting to the west southwest at about five miles an hour. So here's the Hurricane Center track, the cone of uncertainty, meandering just a little bit and then starting to lift more to the north over time, but probably will be a hurricane, maybe a category two, maybe even stronger potentially as it lifts to the north. Something certainly from North Carolina northbound to keep a very close eye on because again, this is going to bring maybe some wind and a lot of rain if it does move inland over the weekend. 86 for tomorrow, a few showers, 79 on Thursday, 74 Friday. The temperatures in the mid 70s right now looks to be a pretty dry weekend. Here's your seven day forecast cast at the beach where we'll see the low 80s for tomorrow. Can't rule out a stray shower. Same story on Thursday. And as we get uh, into late week and the weekend, the temperatures will cool down and chance of rain will go down. 84 our forecast today, 87 the actual high. That's within three degrees. Colleton County first steps. Another $100 from Glasspro. We're now up to $2,000 and that is money in the bank. Be careful out there tomorrow morning. Again, that high tide at 1016. So a couple of hours either way could see some issues. Uh, looking for some not so high high tides. Yes, and that's coming, but uh, yeah. got to get through this this sure full do. moon cycle. Yeah. Just past it right now. Yeah. All All right. Right. Be careful, everyone. Rob, thank you. Yeah. We're going to head on over to sports right now. News to Evan West is standing by with the latest. Yeah, QB switcheroo 